Right, you can't add fractions if you don't have the same denominator. So you have to make the same denominator on the 1 over th x and turn it into the same denominator as 1 over 3x, which you do by changing it to its equivalent fraction. Um, multiply top and bottom by 3 and you get 3 over 3x. The 1 over the 3x stays the same, you haven't changed that at all, and the 2 stays the, chain, the same. You've only turned 1 over x into its equivalent fraction, 3 over 3x. You now have the same denominator on the bottom, so this, these two terms can now, be multi, uh, can now be added together. You're adding in 3x's, so your denominator stays the same, and on the top you get 1 plus 3 equals 4. So you now know that 4 over 3x equals 2. Uh, swapping sides with the 3x and the 2, you get 4 divided by 2 equals 3x. And therefore, x must equal 4 divided by 2 times 3, giving us 2 thirds. So, x equals 2 thirds. Let's try another couple of those. If we have 1 over 4x plus 3 over 2x equals 4, we can't add the fractions until we get them in the same form. So we can change 3 over 2x into the form 6 over 4x. I now have 4x and the bottom terms of both of my fractions, so now I can add them. So I'm adding in 4x's and 1 plus 6 is 7. So 7 over 4x equals 4. Rearranging, so we take the x up, we would get that x equals 7 divided by 4 times 4 equals 7 sixteenths.